Salut tout le monde, ici Philippe Aboussan pour Pic pour la Chinaise. Donc aujourd'hui, je me prépare pour aller à Montréal, suivre mes cours à l'Université de Concordia. Ensuite de ça, vers 6h, je rencontre mon partenaire Hugo Prince de chez Allu Technologie pour aller avec lui en auto chez Milo pour l'événement de Milo. Comme vous pouvez voir, je suis présentement avec Hugo Prince. On est présentement Salut. devant les bureaux de Milo à Westmount. Oui, fait que là, on s'en va dans le bureau de Milo. Milo, c'est le startup qui vous aide à investir. Euh, on connaît les, les CEO, celui qui a fondé la compagnie. Oui, comment il s'appelle Philippe. Oui. Fait qu'il nous a invités aujourd'hui à leur événement. Fait que là, on va se rendre dans le bureau, puis ça va être intéressant. Oui. Non. C'est en haut? Faut que tu montes encore. Ok. C'est quel étage? Quatrième étage. Quatrième étage, ok. Cheers, Hugo. Cheers. Pour Milo. Non. Regardez, je suis présentement dans les bureaux de Milo à Montréal. C'est un événement très bien. J'ai beaucoup de gens. Nous n'avons pas idée de ce qui va se passer parce que je n'ai pas vu ça encore. Non? Je sais ce qui va se passer sur le fait d'être là, mais je n'ai pas vu comment ils ont coupé et fait tout ça. Ça va être bien. J'espère qu'ils vont aller après les... We're gonna get some. Yeah. We'll get more than zero, I'm Thank sure. You. No, it, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. I think there's on average 800,000 people watch Dragon's Den on a regular basis. So. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Absolutely. How are things going with you? Fine. Yeah. It's still the blood from the app. Okay. Still thinking about it. Yeah. It's not easy, man. No, no, it's not easy at all. I thought you guys. I thought when I started, I thought it was gonna be easy, but it's not. I told you, I remember. Yeah. So it takes a little, a little hustle, it takes a little longer than expected, but. So. Uh, so should be good. So. Doing yoga? Do what? Yoga? Yeah, doing a bit of yoga. I was there last week, it was fun. So, uh, doing a little bit of everything. So. Yeah, what were you? Me? Yeah. I exercise, I think I. I have more weight. You know? I remember last time yeah. I was skinny, like that. Uh, I said, yeah, I have to eat. <laughs> nice, good. So we have uh, plenty of pizza coming. We have yeah. uh, popcorn pizza, veggies, wine, beer, everything. So, Thank you. So, yeah, whatever you need. Absolutely. You can make it go. So hi again. I'm with the new, the senior back developer of Milo. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So what does a senior back developer do? Well, my role here is uh, so there are two parts to the uh, software side. Yeah. There's one you see, which is the front end, and one you don't see, which is the back end. Yeah. Now the back end handles all the database and, okay. and all that kind of stuff. I, I came on to the team with a lot of experience in uh, DevOps. So that means developer operations, you know, knowing when things go wrong and auto resolving them and all that stuff. So, so I develop a lot of the back end technology to self healing and the resiliency and robustness of the system. So, what are the biggest challenges did you, did you guys get doing with Milo? Uh, during Milo, we're we're always, um, um, you know, worried about scale. We, we are a startup company, so we have uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, 
you know, we, we can have big spikes of traffic yeah. um, and, and stuff like that. So we have to be ready for that at okay. all times. So that's one of the biggest things. And the that's the biggest challenge to scale the, the group. Yeah, scale, scale when big spikes of traffic come in. So okay. that's what we gotta do. Thank you, Neil. Hugo est déjà en train de manger dans les éléments. Tu pas de te goinfrer dans les événements, toi, hein, Hugo? C'est à ça que ça fait. C'est pour ça que tu vas dans les événements? C'est à ça que ça sert. Mais je sais que c'est à ça que ça sert. Manger. Pour manger, pour avoir de l'énergie, pour essayer de créer des bons produits. Work hard, eat hard, and produce hard. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you for uh, coming out to check out the Milo Dragon's Den area tonight. Welcome to our new office. Uh, we're going to start in just a minute here. Before we get started, I uh, just want to thank you guys all for coming out. Thank you to the Milo family for uh, putting together this application. Thank you to our investors, the supporters, the Montreal startup community, friends and family. So thank you everyone for being here. A few housekeeping items. Uh, the show starts at 8, so right now. Uh, we don't know when we're going to air. So uh, we'll all watch it together in anticipation and uh, see what happens. Next up, a money managing duo aiming to change the way Canadians invest. Hello Dragons, my name is Phil Ferrer, founder and CEO of Milo based in Montreal. I'm Liam Chung, I teamed up with Phil when Milo bought my portfolio management company earlier this year. We're here today asking for $400,000 for 5% equity in our company to finish our current financing round. Dragons, we're on a mission to empower Canadians to be able to achieve their financial goals in a simple and stress-free way. Here's how it works. Milo automatically runs up your everyday purchases and invests in spare change. If I were buy this coffee for $3.25, Milo would round it up to $4, take 75 cents, and put it into your investment account. It may seem like small change, but it adds up over time through your daily, weekly, and monthly purchases. And then you get a return on your investment. Once you're ready to achieve your financial goals, simply withdraw your money back into your primary checking account. Cool. Let me show you how it works in the app. When you open your Milo account, you link your existing debit cards and credit cards so we can round up the transactions. At the end of the week, we take all the roundups and we deposit that money into your Milo account. Your money is managed by a professional portfolio manager in a portfolio of stocks, bonds, and money market that's suitable for your goals. Finally, we use artificial intelligence to make recommendations to help you meet your financial goals. Those recommendations could be insurance, mortgages, loans, or other investment products. Now you have a good person to the guy, wow. Yeah. Je pense que c'est vraiment toute l'équipe et leur famille, et leur parenté, et les amis à fil. Fait que on est vraiment chanceux d'être ici, nous inviter en plus. So right, right now I'm with uh, the founder of Milo, Philip, and we're gonna just talk, uh, talk about a little bit about the updates of Milo, the hardest startup in Montreal. Hi, Phil. Hey there. How are you doing? Oh, how are you doing? Fine. So can you like update us about Milo and like, what's going on? Absolutely. So last time we spoke, I believe it was back in November. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit about the application Milo. It's a mobile application for your phone, for iPhone and Android that links to your credit and debit card. Yeah. Every time you make a purchase, round up to the nearest dollar, take that square change and put it into an investment account. Okay. So last time we spoke, we yeah. were just launching the application, things were growing fast. Um, things were, were going really well. Since we've uh, last spoke, well, we moved into uh, a great new space. We're now here today at the Milo headquarters okay. um, here in St. Henry. We uh, raised our seed round of financing. So we raised $2.65 million uh, with Desjardins, First Capital, okay. uh, Robert Rage, Ange Quebec. And uh, today we're, we're here celebrating uh, and, and anxiously waiting for the viewing of Dragon's Den. So we filmed uh -huh. Dragon's Den back in April of last year. And now here we are in, in March uh, and finally watching the, the episode. So we'll get to see what happens together. Watch Milo slay the dragons and uh, <laughs> see if we get a deal or not. So how was it like filming that? How, what do you feel like to get from starting something out of nothing and now like becoming like this big? 
Yeah, so um, so two questions there. How did it feel for, for Dragons then? It was a fantastic experience. Okay. Um, we got to, to film in Toronto. We were there early in the morning. We had to practice our pitch. We only had about three or four weeks to practice and get everything ready. We weren't sure if we were going to do it or not because we never actually applied to okay. be on Dragons then. They called us to ask us if they wanted to be. Okay. It was a very last minute thing. They, they discovered our application. They loved it. They wanted us to be part of the show. And it was in the middle of our financing round. So we were in the middle of financing. We are in the middle building our app and there's a lot going on um, and obviously there's a, there's a lot to be worried about too if it doesn't go well how okay. does it negatively affect your, your brand but yeah. we took the risk we're glad we did um, and, and it's been fantastic and uh, I, I, you told me like you stayed like one hour like you were one of the uh... yeah so most most pitches are in there between 5 10 15 minutes okay. if they're really good you're probably in there or they have a lot of questions you're probably in there for about half an hour and uh, we were in there for a bit over an hour and a half, so they drilled us with a lot of questions, but it's because we have a very interesting uh, business and, okay. um, and, and a lot of great feedback. Cool. Like, how does it feel out of this? Like it feels incredible. I'm living the dream. It's uh, and, and the most important thing is we're making an impact in people's lives. So we get Facebook messages from people, we get emails from people, people are chatting with us. Been telling us that they're they're saving for the first time in their life, um, and their app is changing the life the way that they, they manage the money, their relationship with money, and okay. taking stress off. So being able to make such a positive impact on people is extremely important, and, and, and I absolutely love it. Why for you? Why do you decide to start mine? Why? What was it that make you like I want to start this? Why yeah. Absolutely. So it came out of my own need. Uh, obviously, as an entrepreneur for two businesses before Milo, okay. I was very much bootstrapped. I was living uh, during a freelance style um, and, 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 and making a dollar stretch. And I saw all of my peer groups go through a long way. So I started obtaining these skills, becoming really good with my own money and okay. managing a, a way to make this happen. And my peer group was going through getting the first jobs and through this, but uh, most of them were having a hard time saving and investing money as well. So it kind of came out of a need that I identified through there and, um, and the bigger underlying problem that we researched in Canada afterwards and saw it wasn't just affecting my friends, it was affecting everybody. everybody. And uh, yeah, we went through a long customer discovery process. We spoke to over 10,000 Canadians before even launching the business idea. Okay. And by doing so, we, we came up with a great solution that uh, people, people love. Yeah. And where do you want to take this? Where do you want to go now after this big, now you're on TV and everything? We're on TV, things are going well, but we're, we're at the beginning of our journey. We want to, uh, right now we're helping people save and invest their money. We're available to all Canadians right now. Okay. Um, but we want to go beyond that. Our, our mission is really one of financial inclusion, accessibility and affordability. So we want to help people make better financial decisions and, and improve in different aspects of their financial life. And uh, I think there's plenty of opportunity to do so beyond saving and investing. So we have a big vision about uh, how we can help people um, find better cell phone plans, save in banking fees, buy the best credit card, find the right mortgage for them. And uh, we're going to use some AI to power all those decision-making powers and help people get the best product uh, for them and, and ultimately achieve their financial goals, which is right back in our mission. Now you were talking about like getting you and savings and everything like going more deeply in finance but what about banks what did what did they see you when you when you come like out of the world like this and you get it bigger what does the banks think first nobody believes you right <laughs> they, they, they don't think it's, it's, it's a great idea but it's difficult um, and it's difficult to start a business. There's been many saving and investing applications that have launched and, and, and closed down since we've started Milo, right? So in my journey, it, it, we've seen a wave of great products and great ideas, but it just, it's very difficult to make a business, and especially in fintech, uh, survive. So uh, I've seen it. So I think a lot of banks were hesitant at first, and even some investors were hesitant at first because we were going after a very big, ambitious goal. Um, but now as we're starting to change, we're seeing the attitude shift and, and they can see opportunities to work with us and partner with us and give a better user experience and, and find a way to, to build better products for their own customers by using the input and value that we have through our Milo users. Um, and we saw it with Desjardins, they, they, Desjardins Venture Capital, or yeah. Capital of the Disc, um, actually invested in our last round, was our lead investor, and, and they see the synergies and they see the potential in, in a product and platform so, like Milo. So they are not there to crush you, but collaborate together. Absolutely. So there's the, there's the big question when it comes to fintech, uh, is, are you going against the banks or with the banks? But I think we're all seeing, especially in the Canadian landscape, there's room for both of us to coexist and for yeah. us to help each other. And, um, and at the end of the day, our users love it, right? And, and they're there to serve their users and we're there to serve it. Users as well. Thank you. Absolutely. Great seeing you again. Thank you.
Right now we are at Milo living the dream that Phil is living. Because we are his band. Cheers. Cheers. Fait que Philippe, t'aimais ça? Moi, j'ai beaucoup aimé l'événement. C'est très intéressant, très inspirant. Ça me permet de, de croire en mon projet, de voir qu'il faut attendre. Lui, il a attendu 4 ans, n'est-ce pas? 4 ans, oui. oui. Donc, c'est ça. Donc, moi, je crois en ma business. Je crois en l'aide de, de Clifford et de e-conversion. Je crois en ton aide. Je crois en l'aide de Kevin. Je crois en l'aide de tout le monde pour m'aider à me améliorer Peak Production. Surtout mon aide à moi, que je me donne moi-même le temps que je passe à penser à moi, à lire les livres de Gary Vaynerchuk et de, et de tous ces gens-là qui t'aident à améliorer ta, ta présence en ligne. Donc il faut s'améliorer, n'est-ce pas Hugo? Ouais.